What's up guys, it's Hello. Bolt, and I'm back with another Remnant Helmar video. And yes guys, update 1.05 is released. Go on Nexus now and download the new update, lots of new weapons, gear that I'm excited to show you. And we're starting this video off with two of my favorite new weapons added to the Hell Mod, and that is the Battle Rifle and the Model 45 freaking love i fell in love with these instantly so model 45 is a semi-automatic pistol probably my third favorite uh secondary behind hunting pistol and the sword off this one does have an open mod slot and the next weapon is my beloved battle rifle guys man this is quickly becoming one of my favorite weapons probably behind like sniper rifle and stuff like that it is just so good this one does not have an open mod slot, but don't worry because this mod on it is absolutely bananas. It is called Full Auto, and it loads an extended magazine of high impact rounds and switch to fully automatic firing at two times the base fit firing rate and four times the impact. This inflicts range damage, guys, not mod damage. So let's just go over and show you how awesome these weapons look and sound first, and then we'll go over the build. So here is the Model 45, guys, semi-automatic sound right there it looks pretty damn cool too if you ask me it has a decent reload speed to be a little faster but i didn't want to make it too powerful because it does pack a little bit of a punch and then here we go guys the battle rifle it does have a scope on it as well so let's go over the punch scope first here is the scope and then here's the bread and butter right here guys the mod Absolutely insane. Gotta love it. And then let's take a look at how amazing this thing looks, man. Shout out to Ryan Harpy and Mad Monk for designing that model. And then shout out for Spiked. Shout out to Spiked rather for cre uh, coming up with the idea of the battle rifle. I'm, I'm absolutely out of lost words for how good these guys, how amazing these guys have been doing on the mod. But yeah, let's get into the build, guys. So, cool thing about the battle rifle, guys, is, is that it's very versatile and can fit a lot of builds. In this video, you're going to see me use three armor sets, and it, and it goes well with each, just as well as the other. And uh, funny enough, the time to kill on all three armor sets is actually very close. So it, the balancing is there. Uh, the buff to Akari that we did put it at A tier, and it's literally right in line with Osseus and, and um, Radiant, which is pretty damn amazing, if you ask me. So uh, the armor set you choose is going to be based on your needs. So Radiant has the passive of uh, uh, recoil reduction, so that's going to be very handy uh, for the mod because the mod is going to kick like a mule. So the recoil reduction will be nice to keep your shots nice and accurate. Osseus has the passive of the increased melee speed and firing rate, so the firing rate does stack with the full auto mod. So you're going to be dishing out that much more DPS and that uh, short amount of time and it also gives us that melee speed which is going to be helpful for applying the corrosion with abrasive amulet go get right get into that in a, in a second and then akari is going to buff your firing rate reload speed consumable use speed evade speed all of that stuff so if you need to squeeze in some consumables or reload in between uh, openings akari is going to be your set right there and then the firing rate does stack so the dps uh with the increased firing rate from akari and the full auto mod is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so those are the armor sets that I, I, I enjoy using with uh, the battle rifle. Now we're going to go into Abrasive and Mantis Claw, guys. Probably my favorite way to apply Corrosion now. Mantis Claw is an amazing weapon. And just like the Scythe, it's, it, it's uh, ability... I mean, the way that you attack with it enables Radiant Stacks to be kept active as well. So this is how... You just got to get used to the arcing of the X-Axe. So you'll be applying Corrosion from uh, range just like this. Uh, once you get the the, uh, the hang of how the arc on the XX, XX are, you'll be pretty accurate with applying Corrosion from a safe distance. So I really like that as well. Went with the Kari Warband because it's S tier. And, you know, who doesn't like more crit damage and more uh, crit chance? I'm, I'm going to show you how to self-proc that, but let's go into Ring of Supremacy as well. I went with this. You could go for... If, um, Ring of Flawless Beauty as well because I do recommend uh, using this against weak spot bosses guys um, but keep in mind Ring of Flawless Beauty won't buff your Frozen Spear or your melee from the Mantis so Ring of Supremacy does buff everything which is nice and we changed it 
back when the mod was first released so it's not only seven seconds you need to equip it so it's pretty fair uh, recommend everybody trying that out so back to Akari Warband if you're mobbing or you have an opening where uh, you need to proc it and you're not dodging here's how to self dodge it self proc it rather it, I went over this in my remnant tech video if you haven't seen that but I'll go over it again here so frozen spear uh, you're gonna either throw it into the wall or onto the ground and then you're immediately gonna switch weapons and roll through it And that will self proc your Akari warband really helpful when you're mobbing and you're, like you're not perfect dodging much You don't have opportunities to dodge uh, or bosses who aren't uh, like Calavager who doesn't have um, uh, Attacks really that are gonna enable you to uh, uh, Perfect dodge so you're gonna throw it to the ground Switch and there you go guys. That's exactly how you proc it. You look at the bottom right hand corner and my Akari Warband icon is there showing that in, it indeed works. So I'm going to go over it one more time. Throw it to the ground. Switch. Roll. And there you go, guys. That's how you do it. Well, that's basically it, guys, man. This thing is an, a monster uh, of a build. You're going to see in the video how it even staggers bosses on hell difficulty. Very versatile. You can uh, fire from a safe distance. Pick people up. Pick enemies off. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. Let me give a shout out to Ari. Cool username. Glarus Spiked. All of these guys, Ryan Harpy, Mad Monk, everybody else. This is too many to, na to name because our team keeps getting bigger and bigger with uh, testers and such. So shout out to everybody. Everybody's doing an amazing job creating uh, this mod and adding new things to it uh, on a frequent basis. Lots of more stuff are on the way, guys, and I'm very excited to show you all of these. So look out for more videos. If you guys li uh, liked the, the video, enjoyed it, enjoy the mod, please like, share, subscribe, comment. All of that good stuff really helps me out. And again, guys, if you have not downloaded the mod, then what are you waiting for? <laughs> I'm leaving a link to the mod in my description box so you could go right there with patch notes and take a look at everything yourself. But that's it, guys. Looking forward to showing you guys all the awesome new stuff we added. And until then, catch everybody yes. on the next one.